Trator is in gold, Shane Burgos in blue. Trator has historically struggled with good counter strikers. Makes this matchup interesting because what Burgos loves to do is stalk. Oh! Both guys swinging for the fences here down the stretch. Burgos lands. What a fight. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen Joe Silva get up that quickly to go in and shake the fighters' hands. Shane Burgos, Tiago Trator put on a show tonight. Hurricane Shane Burgos! Welcome to the big show, Hurricane Shane Burgos makes good on the UFC debut. Taking on the Peabody, Massachusetts native Charles Rosa. Rosa in black, Burgos in blue. Burgos opening up with a lot of kicks here in this third round. A little bit more combinations. I like that he was ripping the body early. I'd like him to go back to the body, finish his combinations to the head. I think it would be more successful. He's looking for one big shot right now. Yeah, he lands that one shot and he doesn't look for follow-ups. Oh, oh, he tagged him the hard left. Two, three, there. there it is. That's what he needed. Oh, beautiful flying knee. Not sure the extent to which Rosa has recovered. Clowning a little bit there. Oh, Big nice elbow. elbow. Beautiful left hook. He's about to get Rosa out of there. Rosa doesn't look for something. Oh! Oh! And that'll do it! Hurricane Shane Burgos! Inside all the wheel kicks and spinning kicks. And it's exactly what he wanted to do, just keeping constant pressure on this guy, which is interesting. You know, in all of Burgos' fights, his opponents really start to fade in the third because that pressure wears you down when you're fighting off your heels on them. Pepe just out of range with that combination, but his jab has looked pretty good tonight. Goes back to it there. And remember, the easiest things to be defensive against is one strike at a time. And that's all we're seeing from Pepe. So Burgos is going to get more and more confident as the fight goes on if Pepe didn't start mixing things up a little different. Ooh, oh, nice knee. Big knee for Burgos. And that results in a knockdown. Burgos says get right back up. So Pepe, the first to try a takedown, and he paid for it. Uppercut is good for Burgos. Pepe's in trouble. There's another. See how calm Burgos stays in the pocket. Another knockdown there. Look how patient Burgos is still. He knows he's got him on the ropes, but he's just, just looking for that perfect counter right now. Perfect shot to put him away. Tell you what, nobody's going to question how tough oh, he is. Big crowd and power from Burgos here down the stretch. Shane Burgos putting this featherweight division on notice tonight. <laughs> Playing some drums to end the fight. Wow. And there is the end of the fight. Nobody in this arena sitting down. No finish for Shane Burgos, but not because of any lack of effort. Outstanding fight tonight. And I tell this story every time Shane Burgos fights because I think it's so impressive. He had scoliosis as a kid. His spine was curved at 49 degrees. He had surgery at 16 years old, two rods, 18 screws. He doesn't like to talk about it all the time, but he has dealt with a lot of things medically and has persevered through all of it to reach the greatest proven ground in the sport. And Holobo looks like he's reading the Paul Felder playbook. Yeah, right. He opens up right away with leg kicks. But Shane right away doing a great job already checking most of those kicks. Ooh, Ooh good uppercut. There it is there, man. That, that He needs to go to that more, but feign it a little bit, I think, for Shane. If he can get Holobo to bite on that jab, that's where his two's gonna come from. Here is corner, jab. Oh! oh! Virgo smiled immediately, trying to shake this one off, but an early knockdown for Kurt Holobo. He's looking for that arm bar. He's got it. He's got it. Man, that is tight. That is tight. He's tapping. Wow. He's tapping. Shane Burgos by submission. Wow. What? What a turnaround. He's how fast he threw that on from that his was, back. That was gorgeous. So Burgos recovered quickly, and he gets an early submission wow. win here tonight. 
his fifth career win by submission. Kurt One man's Hall pleasure, does. another man's pain, yeah. Yeah, Kurt Hall was so upset with himself. Well, I, I don't blame him. You, you had him hurt, you had him out. Yeah, man, uh, everyone sleeps in my ground game. If you look at my, my earlier record as an amateur, and even as a pro, submissions all day. I used to jump guard back when I was an amateur, so um, I got a dangerous guard. Hurricane Shane Burgos, biggest betting favorite on this fight card tonight. Dello Burgos in blue, Amir Khani is in white. Amir is well known. He's just moving forward. If Amir khan has got anything in the gas tank, he catches him with a big shot that he sets a trap for. Amir Khani with hands on knees as he is right getting there. struck. And right there, Amir Khani caught him with the right hand. Ooh, Burgos with a vicious strike. Who's oh, gonna do it? Hurricane Shane Burgos is a problem. Was do that sprawl and brawl, and I knew my cardio was gonna be way better than his. Yeah, that body shot, I was, that's what I was looking for. We were literally just practicing right before he walked out. We my coach, so the jab, step off, throw that right hook to the body. That landed, he rode a little bit, and then I saw that right hand opening, so I threw my pop right away. Congratulations, sir, and a very impressive victory. Shane Burgos, ladies and gentlemen.